So in this video, I'm going to talk about something in FC Mobile for you to avoid losing a lot of coins in FC Mobile. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So if, as you know, we've got division levels in FC Mobile like we had last season, the season before and all that. We've got versus attack, head to head and manager mode. This actually refresh every single month and every single 30 days, I think pretty much uh, the, the seasons end and in 13 days right now, from now, this is uh, these seasons are gonna end as well. We're so attack at head and manager mode. And after the season ends for all three of them, we're gonna get whole bunch of rewards. Not whole bunch of rewards. We're gonna get these competitive points who are uh, that are gonna help us get some coins or gems or maybe other rewards later on as well. I think they're gonna in include player of the month and stuff like that. Maybe team of the week packs. I'm not quite sure, but they are definitely gonna add some more packs with that. So don't don't spend your competitive points. Don't really think that's worth it. Either way, we are also gonna get some player packs right there as you can see if you are in pro 3 for example you're gonna get 70 to 79 overall player pack in pro 2 you're gonna get 70 to 81 overall player pack and then 70 to 83 uh, 75 to 84 77 to 86 and so on and so on um and in fc champion 1 2 and three, you're gonna get 85 to 94 overall player pack. In legendary, if you want to know as well, you're gonna get 84 to 92 overall card in legendary one, up to 91 overall card from 82 in legendary two, and 80 to 89 overall player pack in legendary one, or uh, leg legendary three, sorry. So basically, we're gonna get these rewards for uh, inverse attack in head to head and manager mode, and all the prices for those cards are gonna drop in price. All the cards, that are, for example, 70 overall, 75, 80 overall, 85, up to 90 overalls. All of these cards are gonna drop in price, which means you're you're gonna lose coins if you don't sell those cards uh, until the next season. I'm not I'm not I'm not telling you to sell those cards right now. Use them for a bit, but you have to sell them before the season ends. In, in about like 10 days, you have to sell them because there is gonna be just too much supply for that card. Um, a, a lot of people are gonna pack all these cards, of course. Not a lot of people, every single player, every single player who plays this game, FC Mobile, are gonna pack some kind of a pack from Division Rivals. Doesn't matter if it's gonna be like 70 to 77. Some people are gonna pack those players depending on what um, what level you are, how many caps you got, or can, how many funds you got, where you are in manager mode as well. Depending on all of that, you're gonna get some player packs, which means all of those players are gonna drop in price. 80 overalls, 85s, every single one of them. And you have to sell those cards before the season ends. They're gonna be just too much supply. A lot of people are gonna pack those cards and um, they're gonna start selling those cards as well. For example, if you go into my players right there, I've got this Marquinhos, Eder Militao, Iago Aspas, all these cards right there, they're gonna start dropping in price. I've got lower overall cards as well, like 82 overall Mendy and Mendy, I mean, both of them are Mendy's. They are definitely gonna um, drop in price as well after the season ends. Not right now, in 13 days after season ends, they're gonna drop in price because a lot of people are gonna pack those 82 overall Mendy's, um, Kamavingas, Guardiola's, whatever, a every single one of these cards, as well as I'm pretty sure you can pack some of the icons from those packs as well. I'm not 100% sure, but we can pack up to 94 overall cards. And the only base cards that we've got um, are, the, I mean, the highest overall base cards that we've got are only 91s, which means we can pack um, event players as well, uh, even promotion players up to 94 overall, which means we should be able to pack some icons as well, some promo cards like maybe Chiesa, like maybe uh, Koku maybe might be able to be packed in that one as well. So all of these cards are gonna drop in price. I've got lower overall cards as well, like Matt Ryan right there, who is about 500K, as well as low overall cards like Silver, 79 overalls that are worth like 400,000 coins for Unersal right there. Definitely all of these cards are gonna drop in price just because every single uh, every single player who plays this game is gonna pack these cards. So make sure you go ahead and sell those cards before the season ends, not right now, if you don't want to, before the season ends though, you have to go ahead and sell those cards. Now, what I've, what I've done for my team as well is, as you can see, I don't have any, uh, I don't have Vinicius Jr. anymore in my team. I actually liked him a lot. I, I liked him more than Grealish. Loved using that Vinicius Jr. card. He scored so many goals for me, but I had to sell him just because I I re realized he was tradable. I didn't actually know he was tradable, but he actually was tradable, and I got easy four million coins from him. I think yeah, easy four million coins 
from 3.86 mil, whatever, from Vinicius Junior right there. So I decided to sell him and use Grealish because he's a higher world card. And even though I, I prefer Vinny, Grealish just makes more sense because he's just free there. I, I still like Grealish a lot and I just got some coins from Vinny. I, just, I don't need two lot fingers for my team, of course. So that just made too much sense for me. In division rivals as well, I'm definitely going to be pushing for legendary. I mean, I think I'm definitely going to get legendary in versus attack and head to head. Manager mode, I'm not really playing manager mode, so I'm not really sure about that one. Maybe I'm going to start playing some more manager mode later on. I just I just don't want to play manager mode right now. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. I'll play like two or three. Uh, I'll play two or three games at the start other than that i didn't really uh, i didn't really play it anymore but i like having uh same amount of funds and caps inverse attack and head to head right there as you can see i've got about 500 000 inverse attack and in head to head as well i uh, promoted to world class 2 inverse attack i haven't lost a worst attack match for a very very long time if you look at that of course um some of them are low lower overall teams of course that's that's mostly the reason I won most most of that most of those games either way. But it's still cool for, cool for me. It's still cool. Head to head is much more difficult in my opinion to go ahead and get more caps. Um, I lost a couple of games, but I won some games as well. Right there, as you can see. So not bad, not bad. Definitely not bad. More uh, over five hundred thousand caps for head to head and over five hundred thousand fans in your attack as well. Let me know where you're at. Let me know where you're at. How how many caps do you have you got how many fans have you got uh, where you are in uh divisions as well does, do, yeah divisions right i think those are divisions world class 2 is where i'm at right now gonna push for legendary as i said maybe like up to legendary one depends on uh depends on or in, inverse attack ratings um are the are the most important thing of course so if i have a higher world teams uh, team than my opponents um, until legendary i will be able to hit that if not then I, pro I probably won't be able to but i'm gonna try upgrading my team as well throughout uh, throughout the days of course so hopefully we are gonna be able to do that i'm gonna get some of the challenge tickets right there as well i'm not playing any challenge mode as well by the way i'm definitely not playing any challenge modes i'm gonna get some coins there uh by just promoting to world class 2 in worst attack and in head to head so that's definitely not bad, right? That's definitely not bad. Anyways, that's pretty much gonna be the end of the video for today. Make sure you sell your cards before the end of the uh, end of the season in Division Rivals. Their prices are gonna drop a lot. You have to do that. You have to do that. And obviously, other than that, make sure you play. Welcome to FC Mobile event. Go ahead and open those packs. Complete all the quests as well. If you have uh, already claimed Vinicius Junior, let me know down in the comment section which player you packed from 83 to 92 overall player pack as well. I'm very, very interested to see um, that as well. I don't think I'll pack anybody good, I think. I packed like an, yeah, I packed Koku actually, 85 overall Koku, who is worth 2.5 mil. So I can't really complain that much, but it's not, it's not the best, is it? It's not the best still. That's gonna be the end then. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace.